Hi everyone, Ginny Dodonsky here, Wormwise, Tapeworm and Lambs. Many New Zealand farmers, when they're giving their initial drench to young lambs, will want to treat them for tapeworm. Expectations being better growth rates, less eggs, and maybe less attractiveness to flies. So what's the evidence for each of these? We'll start with the fly strike and the dags. There's not actually been much objective work done on this, um, though a series of on-farm trials in the Manawatu in 2010, uh, where lambs were treated with either an ordinary roundworm drench or roundworm plus tape drench, the tape treated group had a slightly lower dag score than the ones just given a roundworm drench, and both of those had less dags than an untreated group. However, um, it, the comment was made that if you put those two groups of lambs together um, you wouldn't have been able to visually see that the tape treated ones had less eggs than the worm treated ones. It was a slight mathematical difference but probably not enough for the naked eye to see. So I guess the take home message there is that if the, the DAG control response that you're seeing from those early treatments of lambs is more to do with removing the, the gut worms, the round worms than from removing tape. What about live weight gain? There's been a lot more work done on this. From way back um, in the 80s, um, there was a big review done by scientists at MAF looking at um, productivity studies from New Zealand, Australia and around the world, 81 studies in all that they reviewed. And the conclusion from looking at all of those studies was that there was no good evidence that removing tapeworm improves lamb live weight gain after treatment. You may say that that's pretty old research and you're right. Um, there's been some more work done, but again, a while ago now, early 2000s, series of productivity studies again in the Wairarapa. And in these ones, same thing, lambs given either an ordinary combination roundworm drench or roundworm plus tape. And in terms of growth rate, there was no significant difference between either of those treatment groups. So again, most likely that the responses that you're seeing to that early drench are to do with the removal of the intestinal worms, the cuperia, ostatagia, trikes, all of those, than the actual tapeworm. So how could this be? I mean, you know, these things are pretty big, right? Um, we can see them. Um, it should make a difference if we remove them. So I'll tell you a little bit about the biology of tapeworms. Um, your ordinary intestinal worms, the trikes, cuperia, ostatagia, all those ones, they feed by basically grazing on the lining of the gut. So they're feeding on the gut cells, the mucus, the protein that's sitting there on the lining of the gut. And as they do that, they generate quite a strong inflammatory response in the lamb. So fluid loss, scouring, reduced growth, reduced appetite, those sorts of things. Tapeworm and, and um, homonchus, um, barber's pole, obviously suck blood. So, you know, they're going to cause even more damage. But tapeworm, on the other hand, um, they float free in the gut content. Um, they don't graze along the border of the gut like those other worms do. And they actually absorb their nutrients through their skin. So they're basically just kind of floating there, um, absorbing a few nutrients, but they don't cause that same inflammatory response that the other worms do. And this has actually been shown in science where lambs with tapeworm infestations have been killed. Um, and then all that tissue looked at under the microscope and the inflammatory reaction from the tape is nothing, nothing like what you get from a, a good infestation of the other worms. So in conclusion, um, those responses that you see to drenches of young lambs when you're using a tape drench, a really big proportion of them is probably coming from removing the other intestinal worms as opposed to the tape.